Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. I want to show you how I sharpen my Mora Companion stainless steel. I use a Smith's sharpening stone. You can get them at Home Depot, $25. So it has a coarse side, which is the yellow, and a fine side, which is the orange. I get onto the coarse side and I like to go ahead and true up that grind, that scandy grind. So I'll take and place my knife tip on there and tilt it up just enough to where I feel it make contact. And then I go ahead and work on the tip a little bit. And after I feel like it's true enough, then I go ahead and tip it up a little bit more and continue to work on that grind which makes that grind look just as true and straight as possible. This knife doesn't need any sharpening. I'm just basically going through the motions. Same thing on this other side. Turn it up till you feel that tip make contact. True up the grind on that tip a little bit and then tilt it up more and get the body of the, of the knife of the grind. Then after that, as you can see, I have a convex edge right on the very end people say oh you're ruining the whole point of a scandy grind well that edge is a whole lot more durable and lasting when you put that convex edge on there and that's what i will continue to do so let's go back to the fine side and just sharpen it as you normally would i do not pay as much attention to the tip as I probably should, but that's just the way I do it. You can spend all the time you want on your knife. And when you check that for sharpness, that is sticky sharp. That is so sharp. Now to sharpen the spine, we're just gonna use a coarse side of the stone as I've shown you many times before. This should be on a stable surface because you're gonna bear down hard on it Present the knife spine at a 90 degree angle and drag back about 10 times. And then feel it. And you actually do want a burr on the end there, even if it breaks off the first time you use it, because imagine what that ragged edge looks like, even with the burr broken off, it's still good and sharp and it's going to scrape very well and for a long time. The reason the sharp spine and the sharp edge will last so long is because it is stainless. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and try it out with this piece of tulip poplar. Now, many times you'll get some poplar that does not have bark that just peels right off. The bark is like it's glued to it. That's still all right. You're still wanting to use the spine of your knife to scrape away this outer, this outer bark. And then you can start scraping away that inner bark, which is going to be some great. Now oh, that's killer tender. It's probably gonna be a one strike ignite if I get a spark on the first strike. That's what we were after. Let's make a fire. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe hit the notification bell, 
and in that drop down list select all and do give the video a like i appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one Our lawnmower broke down in the ditch last night. So this gentleman was over here cutting the grass for the neighbor. We asked him, he said he'd only charge $65 to cut all that. We jumped on that. So I guess if we get it done every two weeks, it'd probably even be cheaper than that. That's crazy.